what kinds of intelligence uh, are there and uh, how do we get them? So let's focus on a very simple problem. Uh, so here's a robot and there's a, a red box and a couple of objects behind it that it can't see. We uh, told it to place all the objects on the blue mat. Let's consider just that simple problem and ask ourselves, well, okay, so, you know, obviously uh, ChatGPT can solve all problems, right? So can it solve this or, you know, do we want to solve it this way? And there's a few things to kind of remember. One is uh, language is actually not super precise in describing these kinds of problems. So, you know, think about describing the contents of your kitchen drawers. Uh, you know, what are the shapes, what are the things on top of each other, and if you try to kind of describe that to a large language model, you're in trouble. And actually, even images are not enough. Uh, there's a, uh, a common assumption in AI that, oh, if I give you an image, you know the state. Well, no. Uh, in this case, you know, what's behind the, the red box? We don't know the state. There's also, of course, the fact that the robot actually has to do something. It has to reach in and grab something and so on. And it, those are about the robot's embodiment. It's not necessarily the same as a human's or a different robot. So the relationship of the robot to the objects in the world is something that we also need to know in order to actually uh, actuate things in the world. And, you know, uh, we focus on all the right things that LLMs do. In fact, you know, they're often quite wrong. So if you take them at their word, you can get into trouble. So the question is, you know, what's an alternative approach to dealing with the kinds of uh, problems that a robot faces? So here's what our system actually does. It sees the red box, it puts it on the mat, then, oops, there are a couple of new objects. Well, they're not gonna fit on the mat the way with the box in there. So we go and kind of, you know, pick up the objects, uh, put them uh, at the corners, and then put the box back. So it's a very simple operation, but it requires deep understanding of the, the shapes, the interaction of the shapes, the interaction of the robot with the shapes, and so on. So that's the kind of thing that we would like to, do, that, that we'd like to get. And the way we go about this is not by trying to say, uh, I will take 100 trillion images and train a large, language mo a large model of any sort, vision or language, and try to uh, uh, get it to figure out how to solve these kinds of problems by seeing every problem ever done uh, anywhere. The, instead, there are these very general, beautiful algorithms that we can prove are completely general if they have a good model of the situation. So if they know where the objects are and what their shapes are, I can plan the motions of the robot, a completely general algorithm, okay? Now, it, doesn't, it's, it can't solve any problem without understanding what's in the world. But once it understands what's in the world, then it can solve any problem. Uh, similarly, at the high level, in order to sequence things and the, the, capture the dependencies, there are completely general planning algorithms that can, uh, can do that as well. So the idea is that we can try to combine these kinds of general purpose solving planners to actually solve these kinds of problems that involve uh, a mixture of sequencing and also the motion and, and uh, in, uh, understanding of the physical world. What we actually uh, do is initially start out building the models by hand and developing the class of general algorithms and descriptions that we need in order to solve these problems. And then we work on learning, but we only need to work on learning the models, how to get the models of the particular situations, and then that generalizes completely. Uh, so, uh, I mean, if you think about the biological analogy, you see an animal being born and it can do amazing things right away, right? It walks, it, you know, it uh, jumps from tree to tree. It didn't have to sit and learn for ages in order to, to do that. So it, it, not everything has to be learned from scratch. So that's, what I think, a fundamental flaw in the current uh, approach to AI. Not everything needs to be learned from scratch. You can build on general purpose me uh, methodologies and combine that with learning to get true mastery. Anyway, thank you.